Warning. Entering ecological dead zone. The prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. <laughs> Go. Yeah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Tom Fuller. We're back here with some foolishness on this Nautica episode four as we dive deeper to the mystery that lies within planet four, five, four, six, B, something like that. Oh, anyway, how you guys doing? I mean, I'm doing pretty good. Decided to take the weekend off, make videos, all that good stuff. Literally just chilled. It was a beautiful weekend. Nice mid 80s, you know what I'm saying? Nice cool breeze flowing through. Sun was out. You know what I'm saying that's why I got the boom guns out today. <laughs> um, the only thing I'm upset about said I, could, I didn't grill, couldn't grill because I don't have money to go get a propane tank just yet because the one that somebody stole. During the Super Bowl time area back in February. I hope that you just suffered mild stomach pains or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to wish nothing terrible on anybody. But anyway, yeah, I took this weed off, cleared my brain, un un undo the flaps, let the exhaust and the smoke fume out. Doing. I try to do it. I try to do it daily. Of course, the weather has a lot to do with it, but sitting outside and just absorbing natural sunlight does something to the soul. It does something. It just feels great. It feels magnificent. Good way to start my day off is have breakfast and then sit outside and absorb the natural sunlight. But anyway. <laughs> If you guys are enjoying this here, and I hope you guys are, I hope you do, I know I am, and if you are, drop a like, leave a comment, come subscribe, come, 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 subscribe, share, <laughs> come subscribe, come join the family, come join the game. I'm not going to hold y'all up anymore, man. I had a beautiful weekend. I hope you guys did too. Let's go ahead and dive up in this day. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> De La Foule is up and running, as you can see. My base is complete. I have everything. Well, I don't have everything. Some of the stuff um, will complete my base here in a second. I am missing a couple stuff, and I'll get to that in a second. But this is my base. And this is the process it takes to build a base the way you want to build it because there's no simple way to do it. <laughs> So I had to do all of that from moving everything in the locker to one little spot over here to the side, wherever it was at, close by, and then build it how I want because the land, like some of these ridges was in the way, like that little mound back there was in the way of something I wanted to do. This little vent stalagmite was in my way, like, Get out of here. It was just all freaking bad, bro. It was all bad. Don't mind that. Don't. What I just collected. I'll get to that in a second. All right. I just want to show you guys the base. De La Foule is upgraded and dated. Come into the control room, which is. I mean, it's a. 
It's a dope little feature. Oh man, I gotta up my integrity. It's kind of low. <laughs> but it's like, no, oh, the emergency. You need to save power. Bam, that is god awful. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know why that makes my chest cave in, but it does. Just it just goes from a bright lit room to pitch black. But basically, you can cut off power so you. Different places at the bases is taking up too much power, you know what I'm saying? And then it'll show you how much is used power. Honestly, just the scanner room is just using any bit of power, but I'm not using the scanner room. It's just sitting back there on standby. So I built my moon pool. We have Booga Booga. This is the name of my seat truck. Don't ask why. I just want to scare whatever's in the water before they scare me first. It'd be like, Ooga Booga's coming. <laughs> ah, then in here, of course, is the uh, luxurious room of the riches. I've uh, spent some time also in between the last episode and this episode, which was about four and a half hours. Well, actually three, because I kind of took a break and ate, but filling up these lockers all over again from stuff I used. Hello? Oh, cellar? Oh, I have my silver. I was about to say. Just with different stuff all around. And I don't even have everything I need because I need magnetite, which is going to be something I'm looking for in this episode. And I have a fleeting memory and idea of where I could find it because I remember when I finally found some, it was in a terrifying location with a glowing caterpillar leviathan like a centipede leviathan it's, it's disgusting shadow leviathan is just nightmare fuel <sighs> you guys will see most likely then i brought my bioreactor because i can't do thermal reactors yet because i need magnetite and that's one thing i'm waiting for and also um there's another base on an island i think with more stuff i can add to my base so that's why it's kind of barren right now like there's more um, fruits I can add, um, actual room, a, a multi-purpose room with a sunroof in it, which I, I want to make like my garden room or whatever, and like the water filtration system and stuff, I have to get that, but we'll get there, we'll get there. And of course, scatter rooms, nothing's changed, haven't done anything, can't upgrade anything on it. Why can't upgrade anything on it? I don't have any big tech. <laughs> uh, oh, and then my little room right here. Got my little feces on my bed, and that's it. Focus to keep you driven and uh, focus on the task I'm supposed to do, which I don't know what I want to do first. No, don't. Oh, actually, I do know what I want to do first. I, first things first, want to build. Oh, what I collected earlier was my reclaimed water. I finally made a, a steel suit, basically water filtration suit, that converts my sweat and pee to drinkable water. <laughs> Don't want to know how, but uh, that's that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm on piss. Oh, I've never made one before, even in the first one. So I was like, I I'm gonna just do some stuff I've never done before in this particular run. But anyway, um. I want to make these two and we're gonna go do that so give me one second as I collect materials just, did I just grab I just grabbed my copper wire did I not apparently not right. anyway blue now this I need to take back to the end Was that like a good job music? Like I'm on the right path. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jet over there real quick and uh, ooga booga, and I don't need to take my stuff with me. So, B R B. All right, here he goes. It's west of my base. I gotta remember that. Hello. Yeah. Upgraded, baby. The fool out of here. All right, we gotta go all the way back up to the tin up. And this is good because 
Uh, I, I don't think I missed anything. There's a possibility. You never know. I can't believe I can't. Oh, I can't! I see! I was like, I wonder why I can't make any floodlights because I didn't scan the gosh dang things. <sighs> okay, and I'm back. What happened? <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing. I was here the whole time. I didn't leave. Alright. I don't think I forgot anything on here. I mean, besides the floodlight, it's not detrimental to my soul, but. Yeah, sure. Alright, some shrubs. Wash it down with some PS. Mm, healthy breakfast. Alright, this is what we come here for. This is what it's been all about right here. This. This is it, guys. Right here. It's done. Time to skid. Pretty crazy this game. I'd be mad, boy. Great. Now back to the terminal. I thought I had time to get something to drink right there, real quick. Guess not. <laughs> Do it. Please work. East of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure. Whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. That right here is. See these spots? This little bloop bloops. Get out your man right here. Bow. Give me the controller. Drop them. Yeah, there we go. All right, little guy. Ready and waiting. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, that diamond I was crying about earlier. It's all in here, baby. It's kind of weird because this is one controller. It just sucks it has only four slots. I mean, the how you turn is just all left stick instead of like using a camera. The camera just goes up and down. It's kind of disoriented, but uh, we made it. Damn, Sam, you kind of girl, you kind of thick. Hold on now. <laughs> Hi, I need my diamonds. Yeah, let's just go east and uh, see what see what old mate is talking about. Mm, my eyes. I would just swing by and pick up my old. You do not trust old Terry. No, neither do you. But your sister was old Terry. My sister was my sister. She worked for Altera. My people do not perceive a difference. We are what we work for. Well, Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings, like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, 
and she was stubborn, just like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier, faster, way less play by the rules. Was time working in the best interest of all time? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in-between to us. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. Alright, actually, I want to make these floodlights real quick because my base is dark, bro. Alright, there. I got some lights. That looks good. That looks better. What? Look. Brown. It's kind of fire. I like that color. It's like this orange is deep, bronze is brown. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't know which one to go to. <gasps> Glow wheels. I'm gonna park you right over here somewhere. Right by the glow wheels. Why don't you guys take care of it? <sighs> yes, while I'm over here, I'll show you guys what's on the We'll go to the crater's edge. Gosh, I don't really want to ah, you're so cool look at you just flipping upside down having the time of your life hey for me ah, if I can place some nautical on the back of this glow wheel great <laughs> just piss myself in excitement no, don't squish me, Glow Whale. You're so silly. <laughs> Try to kill me. What? Ooh, that was spooky. Uh. Mana! Mana! Hey, have you seen a very tough woman who possibly was trying to kill? Yeah, he saw a tough woman that was trying to kill her. Yeah, man, I'm getting off of this month, man. This, this shit. Ooh. Oh, looks like something. Looks like something. God, I wish I had my fox bike thing. Oh, it's not even the same iceberg. Is that the one I'm supposed to be on? What's on this one? Mana! Mana, get your ass out right now! I'm straight on! Dangerous <laughs> weather approaching. Seek shelter. I wanted to go to. Ah, God, not that one. I can't see a mother. F ah! Margaret! Margaret! Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. I'm trying to find Meta, and you're not making this easy for me, and it's almost night time, and I won't be able to see anything for real this time, even though I can't see nothing now. I can't see nothing anyway, because I don't know. <laughs> Stars picking up, and I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's left from right eyes. <laughs> I just want to find Meta. Meta! It's cold. It's wet. It's dark. And I think I've done wait in several circles. Okay, I know the other one I saw was right in front of this one, so right 
Or was it this one? No, because that was... Right? I came over here. Yeah, this one, right? Can I climb that one? Is there something, something up there? Oh, that's, that's actually kind of nice. I'm going to take a picture of that. If you're wondering why I cut back to the base here, because this was not a uh, planned cut back to the base. My game crashed when I um, took a screenshot. I don't, I don't know why it did that. Um, Cause see, bam, I, I just took a screenshot. So, I um. Uh, I gotta go back to the island. I gotta do all that stuff all over again. And um, I'll see you guys uh, when I figure out which iceberg made us on. Okay? Alright, cool. <laughs> and we're back. Back to the old iceberg uh, biome. are allowed to be so small. Whoa. <laughs> Boy, you happy. I'm not. So stay the fuck away from me right now, Chloe. Not in the mood. Hey. No. You're actually protective of your kid. What the heck is that noise? You're leaving your kid. I'm taking your kid. Come on, Charles. I don't care. Think I care? You suck my f I'm sorry, that's, that's really rude of me. Whoa, dude, I ain't never seen you. I ain't never seen y'all try to breach before. That's crazy what you're doing right now. Oh my god, did I catch Charles? Oh, well. I ain't got a brother. Charles or Charlie? Yeah, that's you guys' name. I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to mother bed, man. I swear I'm over this. Charles or Charlie. Look at y'all penguins, man. Y'all gotta deal with this sh I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say I'm not far enough east. Cause these glaciers look barren. Not a nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. I don't know what that means, but I'm still going. This looks prophecy. What the fugazi that was, but chill out, bro. Chill out, my boy. Creepy, creepy. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. 
More of what? What did I find? I was hoping this is the one that had made us think on it. What did I come across? I'm about to freeze to death. Ooh, what is this? A satellite? What is this? Oh, I'm about to freeze! I'm about to freeze! I'm about to freeze! Spray the tech. What does that what does that mean? Piss myself in anticipation. Satellite bears clear markings of the architect civilization. It appears to have crash landed, though its structural integrity remains surprisingly intact. Satellite's internal design indicate that it was likely used for long range long range data transmission. The data transmission is known and the storage housing has long been corrupted by exposure to the elements. Okay, actually this one looks promising. This one looks promising. Got some bones on it. I'm I am sure this is has made his name written all over it. This has to be her. Ooh, the peppers. Can I not pick up my peppers, please. Yes. Beef cap cheat, beef five tap, goose cap cheat, hit rip bot, tip, tip, lap, lap, loop. Word for word. Yeah. I'm mostly good for body temperature, but yeah. I want them so I can grow them. The hell is phone ringing? Pick up a frost. Wait, what did I just pick up? Useful for chemical applications. Oh. So I need to pick up a bunch. Okay, here it is. I need to pick up a couple of these, what you say? Ah. Oh, Meda, darling, so good to see you again. Meda, knock knock. Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew. What to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was all Terra through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself to the greenhouse. The least I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. I don't mind if I do. I meant to close this. Sorry. He was talking. I didn't want to be rude. Yeah. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and- That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <sighs> You're thinking too small. Like maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on. Is a bacteria a threat or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it. I am. I said like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Great. 
Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. Vaporized all the fish. Okay. And you gotta hit the lab, too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. So adorable how he's sitting over here purring in my ear, but, uh... All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. <laughs> Trust me, we know, old girl. You've been through a lot. Well, I'll catch you around, you know what I'm saying? All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. First few nights the soil was rock solid. Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But, nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. What the fuck? Next, grow <laughs> lights for a must-have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. All right, numero uno thing on the list today. We're going to the boundary. Don't know where the boundary is. Actually, let me go down first. Mm. It's like you just know what to play every time. You know what stupidity I'm about to do right now. All right, go leave. You guys just chill right there. Should be fine. We're gonna journey to the deep dark abyss. There it is. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh, my whole body's itching right now. Oh, all right, let's let's just go. We just into the void. Let me get my speed boost ready. Warning: Entering ecological dead zone. The prospect for survival is fast approaching zero. <laughs> Go. Yeah, see ya. Would not want to be ya. <sighs> uh oh, shut up. No, you're not getting a better view of, of him, okay? It's, it's what it is, alright? Gotta read about Meta. Margaret made an occupation freelance security personnel status missing. Previously he's thought to be dead. Last known contact was on the recording found in another sector of 4546B. It was claimed she killed a Reaper Leviathan. Ain't no claim she did. Margaret is highly distrustful of authority figure, especially those tied to corporate entities. She's strong will and seems cold upon initial contact. Not much is known about Margaret. She was born and raised in the Mongolian states, a backwater corporate colony exploited for its mineral resources. She left home in 16 and went from one mercenary job to another. Eventually, she did tours with the Mongolian Defense Force and Trans System Federation. She held an esteemed career before being dishonorably discharged from the TSF for going off mission. Details are unclear, but our resources have unearthed some scant details. Margaret has was the head of an intel and re, 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 reconnaissance mission. We aren't clear what she stumbled upon, but she silently eliminated the entire local security apparatus over the course of three days. 
None of the local families would give more information. They only said they think God's hand for saving them. Last mission was aboard the Gazi. His private security against potential pirates and scavengers was crashed on 4546 feet. Yeah. And I was just stalling time, but. Alright, you guys wanna get shot? Alright, let's get a good shot. Let's get a let's get a good idea of what we're looking at here. And now we're not gonna be able to see pitch black dark. It's pitch black dark. It's pitch It's pitch black dark. It's pitch black dark. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, it's a ghosty thing. Chavella the thing and Oh my god, oh why are you following me, sir? I'm supposed to be going this way, you're supposed to be going the opposite <sighs> my shoulders hurt because somehow they were tensed up this whole time I'm going I'm going uh, I'm going nowhere I don't where am I going I'm not going nowhere I'm just a little frazzled, razzled, and dazzled. Everything about this game makes me nervous. It makes An me active volcano detected nearby. What are you doing here? I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna just gut it. I saw your mom out there, dead or awful, whoever. Please, I want no trouble. I am nothing but a humble, humble young man. Back to look. Ooh, what is this? Oh, look, diamonds. Ooh, what is this? Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to well. EDA. Oh. Well, what is this place, dude? Oh, frick, did I just find Alan? How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you, my body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Tell him, Sam. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. I'm just going straight to the freaking hole of a volcano. It's cut out of there just a sec. Alright, what is this thing? Ground sampler. Salient artifact appears to be a program of a robot and collects and analyzes samples of soil rock. Scans indicate the presence of equipment closely analog analogous, analogous to human built lasers and spectrograph analysis equipment. Alright, so honestly, unfortunately, episode is, is, is done for. I. It may not seem, well, of course, it never seems, 
that long with recorded videos and content. I have been playing for a couple hours now. Alone. And quite frankly, I am a little bit tired. So I am going to, I just thought, I have a whole nother moon pool I need. I think I can build it back here. I should be able to build it. I hope I can build it back here. Please let me build it back here. God, Jesus, please. Either or, first things I am doing, when I come back, I'm checking out these artifacts. And I find them. Actually, there's all three artifacts. X3J1, a body cache, and whatever that artifact is. So, that's what we'll be checking out in the next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this one. I'm sure I did. With getting the socks scared off of me and um, going to see a ghost Chelsea thing, I love it out there. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's been great. <laughs> oh, anyway, if you guys have enjoyed the episode or enjoying the series just in general I appreciate you guys tuning in and if you do enjoy remember it's a leave a like comment subscribe come join the family come join the guinea and uh yeah man I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely stay up what you say you know what I'm saying definitely uh, definitely link up son link up daddy <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm half tired, half asleep. I'm just dribbling on at this point. Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, see you later. Uh, but I'll be putting my plants up and then that'll be it. Alright, cool. Great. Alright, please. Alright. Yep. Alright. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep.